Jane Dayus Hinch is a British wedding planner who organizes more than 50 weddings a year. Okay, no problem. When it comes to glitch-free nuptials, there is no other. This is my job. But can she pull off a stylish Manhattan wedding with a paltry budget of $5,000? I don't know. I really don't know. And can she keep the peace between a crying bride and a volatile groom? Here we are, day before the wedding, things f***ing up, and it's everyone's fault but yours. There's just so much to do. Looks like Jane has her work cut out for her. You want drama? I'll give you drama. Dancers Lisa and Armando have been dreaming about their wedding day for the past six years. We were kind of worried about how people were going to receive it because we were so young and everyone just sort of, no one really took us seriously. Um, but yeah, we proved them wrong. Now we're getting married and everyone's coming. But now that it's right around the corner, the dream has turned into a nightmare. So this wedding is definitely crazy. It has been scheduled to be at three different places, I think. I'm embarrassed to say. We have had three different, to totally different ideas. I mean, we've booked places, we've unbooked places, we've lost deposits, we've had a string quartet, we've had not a string quartet, we've had a DJ. It's just been so insane. I'm stressed, I have nightmares, and I tell our about them and he laughs at me because like one of them will be like we, we leave the ceremony and I get to the reception site and they're like still like hanging the lights and I'm like oh my god everyone's here and nothing is done. We both aren't sleeping. We're getting into these little cat fights, you know, little small fights every day bickering about the wedding. Lisa can't sleep because she's been working and planning the entire wedding on her own. Armando's not working and not planning. So what's his excuse? I'm just lazy. I don't think he's stressed in the least. I think that he thinks that I'll take care of it. Lisa's definitely taking care of more of the wedding arrangements. She's the chief. Sometimes I joke like I'm more of his like personal assistant than his soon-to-be wife because he's just so scattered. Hello. But it's not like Armando's doing nothing. He was inviting literally every person he ran into. That's um, not true. Yes, it is. We wound up inviting 176 people. It's not like I'm inviting random people. People would come up to me and be like, oh, I'm, I'm so excited for the wedding. I'm like, first of all, who are you? And in an expensive city like Manhattan, more guests uh -huh. mean less budget. We're having a really hard time figuring out how we're going to feed people with eight bucks. It's like a slice of two slices of pizza. Lisa and I definitely need help in this wedding. Sounds like a job for Jane Deus Hint. Yes, this is Jane. Jane's a wedding planner and a fairy godmother who will grant Lisa and Armando three wishes to save their wedding from impending doom. But before she can fix anything, Jane needs to case out Armando and the ceremony site in Central Park. Armando. Hi. I'm Jane. Nice to meet you. I'm afraid that she's going to yell at me for not helping. <laughs> Where's Lisa? She's at work right now. Beautiful place, but quite difficult to find. How are you getting here? Are you getting here by? We don't know yet. How are the flower girls and the bridesmaids getting here and the bride? I don't know. I've met my share of clueless bridegrooms, but I'm under. He takes the cake. What happens if it's raining? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, dear. How far away is the, the wedding venue? I don't know, 60, 70 blocks. And what time are you anticipating getting there? I'm not sure. What does he know? Does Lisa know? Lisa knows everything. We're going to go now and meet Lisa at the venue? Yes. A 15-minute walk through the park and a 40-minute cab ride later, Jane and Armando arrive at the reception venue, a private residence that's been used for photo and film shoots, but never a wedding. The venue where they're coming to have the reception, the wedding breakfast, is totally unsuitable. We love the space. It's just that because it's empty, there's all, like, we have to bring everything into it. So this is downstairs where the ceremony 
would actually take place as well, we think, if it was raining. Have you seen how much stuff is down here? It actually, every single time I've been here, the stuff changes. I don't know whether I can take any more problems for today. I can only grant you three wishes. I can feel a hundred coming yeah. on. You've paid for this. Me walking them through it and them looking at it with different eyes, they've now looked at it and gone, what were we thinking? But they're in too deep. The reception space may not be up to snuff, but that's not the only problem. You haven't booked a caterer yet with 11 days to the wedding. Well, there we go. That's just another little piece to the jigsaw that's all sitting on the table in pieces. The only thing left to do is for Jane to sit Lisa and Armando down so. and let them know how bad it really is. Can I take a look at the contract? Please, we would love it. <laughs> you are allowed to set up at $90 an hour. I did know that, yes. Did you know that? I knew that. Lisa, you know? I did not know that it was going to be $90. And is that in the budget? Yes or no? And not including cleanup periods. Additional hours will be billed to the couple at $150 per hour. We were planning for the reception to end at 8, and we have the space until 9. So 8 o'clock, hello, wedding's now finished. Could you all leave, please, because we need to pack it all up? Seems difficult. How many things can go wrong with a wedding? Well, I don't think you can get much more wrong with a wedding. Where you've got the wrong location, the wrong venue, the wrong everything. We've come to a crisis. I think we're going into panic mode now. She likes to plan everything herself. And I said to her, if she's going to do everything didn't herself. I think of half the things she brought up. So then maybe you should drop the attitude of, I want to do everything because you're going to mess everything up. A year from the start, and finally, it's like, oh, Lisa, maybe we shouldn't take three weeks to decide what the color of the flowers are going to be. Oh, Lisa, the venue is a mile away from the thing. Oh, that happens all the time. You got to be open. You got to let me help. What'd you say in the car? I don't want you to do anything. Well, then you got to accept responsibility if this doesn't go well. We just need so much help. I don't even know how we're going to get it. We're going to get it. It's going to be fine. If only Jane could be so sure. Every wedding has problems. Every wedding. That's what I'm here for. But when you're looking at the logistics, the budget, how young they are, how they're trying to put all this together by themselves with no support, I don't know. I really don't know. Since Jane can only do so much, don't you think? And Lisa and Armando need all the help they can get. Yeah. Their first wish is a no-brainer. For Lisa and Armando's first wish, they want me to run a family meeting. In other words, they want Jane to beg for money. Now that we've got all the family here, one of the biggest things I've got to do is ask the family for some more money. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Money is a huge obstacle. Uh, just trying to figure out how we're going to have a wedding that we'd be proud of, but that we can afford at the same time. The fact is, we just don't make enough money to plan this big wedding. This is an awkward one, a really awkward one for me. But is there any more budget? Is there any more relatives? Is there anybody we can ask to say, could you contribute to the wedding? I will make phone calls tomorrow. Yeah. No, I don't yeah, feel OK with stop that. It. Stop it. Money's not going to solve all of Lisa and Armando's problems, so Jane starts to delegate. So Dad's on decorating. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I will schedule a meeting on Wednesday with the waiters. Drinks getting to Central Park. We have no money for limos, so we were planning on taking taxis. She's taking a taxi. We have a million people with cars. Somebody can drive around with us. But aren't France going to take? The girls. It's Could fine. you take the girls? Sure. I think Jane definitely helped get my family, like, really involved. involved. It was a big help. And I think they definitely offered to do more than they would have if I had asked. So we're going to meet with the photographer. As Jane continues to assign tasks, she notices the support for this couple is completely one-sided. What about your family? <laughs> now. Lisa's family, all on board. Amanda's family, Nowhere to be found. Hopefully, 
They'll show up for the wedding. Did I grant your first wish? Yes. You did. <laughs> Everyone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> but the joy is short-lived. I'm just worried that things are not going to get done. Especially since it's up to Armando to plan the wedding while breadwinner Lisa heads off to work. What's our budget for catering? A thousand. Ugh. With a budget like that, is it any wonder Armando's caterer stands him up? The guy I usually speak to is not here. He's going to be here around 5 o'clock. Until then, I can, I have a few things on my list, so. Hopefully, he has better luck with the jewelers. Yes, um, I ordered a ring, and they said it would be ready by today. No, that's not OK, because you guys said it would be ready today. It's a wedding band. It's very important. And just when things couldn't get any worse, the caterer misses the second appointment. Who? He still isn't there? They said he would be there after 5. This is exactly the problem. This stuff happens all the time in our wedding. Seems like it's impossible for everything to go smoothly. This looks like Jane is, is going to be one of our wishes. We have six days, a wedding, and no food. Manhattan caterers charge an average of $120 a plate. Jane is working with a budget of $8. If she can do this, it'd be amazing. Do I think she can? Honestly, no. Luckily, one of Jane's favorite chefs is willing to do her a huge flavor favor. Steve, my goodness. <laughs> Armando! This is Steven. Hi, Steven. nice to meet you. The man who's going to Good. save the day. Oh, great. Chef Steve has prepared a variety of hors d'oeuvres, including his signature dish, Brazilian palitos. I hope the food's good. I hope everything works out. Mm -mm. How could it not work out? It's good. Jane's in charge. <laughs> and all of this is within the budget. I never would have ever found anything like this. No and worries. It's all down to this guy. No worries. Have I granted your second wish? You definitely have granted it and then some. It's all good, and I'm starting to feel that now. Oh, it's going to be a great wedding. <laughs> now there's only one wish left and two days to go. Things are not looking very rosy. I am not handling this wedding stress nearly as well as I thought I would be. I'm breaking out. It's Armando and I have gotten into it. Um, about the wedding, just because I stress a lot and he keeps saying it'll be okay, but not really telling me why it will be okay. Arranging 400 roses takes a lot longer than Lisa expected. Ah. There's no way she can do that and decorate the hall. Looks like it's time to cash in the last wish. Jane does not know what the wish is yet. But she's about to find out. Hi, Jane. It's Lisa calling. We think we have a third wish. We need your help tomorrow and are wondering if you would be able to organize, basically, the setup. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. If Jane tells people to do things, yeah. they'll do them. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong because we only have one wish. Cue the call from the rental company. What? You can't pull out two days before the wedding. It seems Lisa never signed a contract with her rental company. So when they got a bigger order, they bailed. Now, Jane's tempted to do the same. I don't know what I'm going to do. If Jane can't find another rental company in the next 12 hours, Hello. there will be no tables, no chairs, no glasses, no plates, and no linens for the reception. Who needs sleep? The very next day, everyone arrives at the reception hall. Armando. The dirty reception hall. It's not as clean as I wanted it to be. This is awful. If they only knew what a mess they were really in. I haven't slept. Managed to find a rental company that will come today, 2 o'clock. Fingers crossed they turn up with everything that we've ordered. Lisa and Armando's third wish was for Jane to supervise their friends and family while they decorate the hall. It's a little unsettling just because our friends are so not the type to be working. How many people have we got helping today? They were expecting a crew of 20, but only three people show up. That's nowhere near enough people to get everything done in the three-hour window they've been given. It has to happen. There is no other choice. If only Jane could find more helpers. I need everybody to come together, please. 
we haven't got enough people, the people haven't turned up that said they're going to help. So I'm sorry, camera crew, you're going to have to help me. The stress level is just sort of rising nicely. OK, <laughs> grab a sponge, grab a brush, grab anything so that everything is pristine, so that when the rental company arrives, we'll literally just bring it in and drop it. One strand, one strand. Lisa, why don't you go downstairs and let us handle this? You're just adding more stress. I'm not going to do a half assed job. Lisa, I need to Maybe now's a good time to tell Lisa about the rentals. I've now had to go and find another rental company. <laughs> OK. And I've given them the whole same order, everything, no problem at all, and they're delivering. So when that truck pulls up, this is the different rental company. Hi. And they're late. Uh huh. But they were the only people that could deliver today. Everybody else was delivering tomorrow. Uh-huh. Nice. This okay. was the only company we could get today. Hopefully they'll be here soon. OK. All right. Lisa All right. took the news pretty well, but Armando, he might be a different story. So what, what are we doing now? Uh, they had to find a new rental company. Why didn't you tell me this? I just found out. Hello. Get off my back. I just, they just okay. told me. Why am I finding out now that the rental company dropped us? What happened? I mean, this is kind of yeah. absurd. I'm sorry. Armando. Oh, by the way, your rental company dropped you. Well, thanks. This, do you see? And I didn't want to use them in the first place, but you know, all the brides use them. You don't have to be the way you're being. Like, he's helping anybody. You're acting like a asshole. All right, Lisa, I got it. I'll be gone no, soon. No, you don't okay? got it, because you I'll keep be doing soon. it. What are we arguing over? Can I be the mad that company. the rental company dropped us? It's my fault, the rental company No, it isn't. Can I be mad? I mean, everyone's No, like, not mad now. Well, of course, everybody's worried that these rentals aren't going to turn up. And Armando's taking it out on Lisa, which is just not what you want to do the day before your wedding. We have no tables and chairs, and I'm f***ing everyone up. I don't care about everyone. This is my wedding, Lisa's wedding. I don't care if I f*** off everyone else. So while Jane looks for the delivery truck, Armando looks for someone to blame. Here we are, day before the wedding, things f***ing up, and it's everyone's fault but yours. No, Armando, it's, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What part about? don't you understand? I'll repeat it. It's, it's the rental company's fault that they dropped us. How is it anyone else's fault? I don't get it. It's no one's fault. Everyone is stressed out. You are not the only one. It's just, it's becoming this big dramatic ordeal. That's what weddings usually are, Armando. No, that's not true. That is not true. Really, how many weddings have you been in? How many have you been to? I'm saying I watch, I've been oh, watching. All TV? weddings are stressful. Well, I guess on TV. When the delivery truck finally pulls up, the fighting stops. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. And Jane orders everyone back to work. The rentals are here. I really wish we would have just eloped. Like, because it just seems like it would have been so much easier. With a half an hour left to set up the hall, the pressure's on now more than ever. How am I going to do all of this? I don't know. For me, the biggest worry is that people won't enjoy themselves or that people will see how we had no budget. If we could somehow like just show everyone, like look at what we've done, you know, um, it'd be really great. I'm just nervous about the actual ceremony, believe it or not. Just being there and everyone watching and standing up there and saying everything I have to say, that's driving me crazy. The marriage, I think will be fine. I think, you know, it's gonna be great, but that day, it's the day that's killing me. <laughs> now that the couple is out of wishes and the big day is finally here, let's hope nothing else goes wrong. Can we go any quicker? If I'd be driving this carriage, we'd be going a lot faster. When Jane finally arrives for the two o'clock ceremony, she sees Armando, but no Lisa. How long is it gonna take you to get here? Meanwhile, at the hall, the reception staff are nowhere to be found. Who was supposed to turn up to set up the bars? Joey and Chanel. Can you get a call into them? Because nobody showed. I got in touch with them. I'm more worried that I've got no bride. Well, she's got half an hour, but she wants to do all the photographs. The photographer's here waiting. But what good is having a wedding photographer so, when there's no the officiant? Judges. What time's she arriving? 1.30, she should be here. It's nearly 22. So, in case you're keeping track, we've got no bride, no officiant, no waitstaff, and no parents of the groom. 
Hey, Mama, where are you? Yeah. They're lost. We are 17 minutes away from 2 o'clock. The officiant hasn't turned up, even though Armando spoke to her last night and assures me that she's on her way. His family haven't shown, and Lisa isn't here. Then, at 5 to 2, the judge arrives. Hello. Hello. And so does Lisa. Frightening the life out of me. <laughs> But Armando's parents are still missing. Just hold up. Armando's family isn't here yet. Hmm? They're not here yet? No. I knew it. They drove like through the park. In the park. I'm just, I have no patience today. I'm like, what do you mean you drove through the park? That's not what I said. I'm just ready to get started. Finally, at 2.30, Armando's Hello. parents decide to show up. I'm sorry to rush you, but they're all lined up ready. And now the wedding is underway. Here we go. Ten days ago, when I first met Lisa and Armando... Welcome! ..we had the biggest disaster I've ever seen. It went from complete disaster through to complete fantasy. I, Armando... Take you, Lisa... Take you, Lisa... ..to be my wife... To be my wife... ..to stand together in our times of joy and sorrow... ..to always be open and honest with you... ..to always be open and honest with you... ..for as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And I present you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Armando Braswell. The wedding's done now, and the only thing I'm worried about is obviously getting back to the space to make sure that the caterers turned up. They've uncorked all the wine bottles, they've got all the glasses on the trays, they've lit all the candles, and everything looks ready for their arrival. Was that thunder? Tell me that wasn't thunder. With lightning speed, Jane heads down to the reception where she fills in for the missing bar staff. Because the guys not turned up, apparently they're on their way. But the bartenders aren't the only no-shows. We've got about 60 people. There should be 120, so we're missing about 60 guests and the bride and bridegroom and Armando's parents. So, um, yeah. When Lisa and Armando finally arrive, they see the decorated hall for the very first time. Please welcome the new Mr. and Mrs. Armando Braswell. When she walked in, I looked at her face and I looked at Armando. And that was true happiness. They were delighted. And do you think the room looks stunning? It's amazing. I can't believe it, actually. <laughs> and I did everything and more to make their dream come true. This wedding would not be possible if it wasn't for Jane. She definitely went above and beyond her duties. Even, Everyone did. Even with the three wishes. Jane has been a saint, an angel from heaven for Amazing. us. I was the fairy godmother to this $5,000 wedding here in New York. I can't wait to see what the next one is. No, I'm the only one here. Like me and the camera and sound. I'm the television producer and I'm the only one here to set up the wedding. I'm not paid to do this.